Uh, we're now joined by Cowboy head coach Jeff Linder uh, after a, well, a, a hard-fought, gutsy 63-61 win over the Air Force Falcons. And, uh, we saw Hunter Maldonado walking with the coach, and he got like a rock star welcome out here from his family and friends all in Colorado Springs. But uh, it's hard to win on the road. It was evident uh, here tonight. But, you know, you talk about making winning plays. Uh, 24 made a winning play at the end of the game. Talk about this game. Yeah, it's um, it's never easy. It's, it's never easy on the road. And, uh, you know, Air Force, you know, they played well. Um, they're hard to guard. And, uh, and I thought that we had... You know, we had we didn't play great in terms of just and, and, and in a lot of ways you know Air Force forces they kind of disrupt your rhythm with the matchup zone. You have to expand so much energy, um, you know, to not just give in when you're having to guard 20 to 25 seconds every time down the floor. And uh, you know, I thought we had that one stretch there in the second half where we kind of got it to 10, where we started to open things up a little bit, but then couldn't get some stops. Um, we got to the foul line a bunch. You know, it feels like even they won 11 times, I think it felt like they won 11 times during that stretch. But you know what? It's hard to win. We're going we're gonna to enjoy this one for a little while. Um, you know, we got all of Colorado Springs here to watch Maldo. It was like, I, I really you know, thank all the all the Pope fans down here in this neck of the woods for showing up. I and mean, it was almost like a, a home, home game with all the gold in the stands. It was good to see the gold offset the blue. And uh, just really proud of the team effort. You know, Coach, uh, two points. That they, they just played outstanding defense. And you said it's so hard to play defense against this team because you got to play for so long. But the flow of the game was interrupted by 43 fouls as well. And, and that's really hard to get any kind of flow when that happens. No, nothing against the physical. It just happened that way. It, it was tough. And I, and I knew it was going to be a tough game for Graham. And that's the hard part for a guy like him who's so physical and who's so dominant. And when the other team basically knows our best way to guard him is by just flopping around. And, and to go play the game that we played at Boise where nothing was called and it's just an absolute bloodbath. And we were here, um, but we knew it was coming and um, Graham had to feel it and I, and I knew it was gonna be a little bit of a struggle. Um, but thankfully, you know, we came in down the stretch, made a couple big plays. But I also really challenged the guys that we saw. I mean, we, we out-rebounded them by 11 and really challenged them before the game. J.O., Wenzel, those guys, Graham, in terms of making the winning efforts to get those extra possessions because we turned it over 13 times. We didn't grant now four of those for Graham were offensive fouls. But um, you know, we, got those, we got those back on the offensive glass. Well, Coach, when Graham got into foul trouble, Hunter got into foul trouble, he kind of went small, put Odin at the five, and that, you know that's when you closed the gap again, and you tied it up and took the lead. I thought going small really helped you today. Yeah, it did, and you know we, we put Maldo on the five and just made him be the traffic cop, and they went small as well because, I mean, their bigs were in foul trouble as well, but um, you know I just thought we did a good job. It was good to get X back out there, but he also, too, knew he wasn't going to be great just trying to get back into a rhythm. It's hard just to jump right back in there, have not practiced, and for him to just kind of get out there. But, uh, but it was yeah, it was a good win, and he's got to make that drive up by 25 a, a, lot, a lot faster. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, you, you said it, and has said it, that don't let the last game beat you in this game. I thought this showed really great mental toughness by the team. Yeah, and our guys knew that. They knew they had to come down here and find a way to win the game. It doesn't matter how you did it, um, but just find a way. And that's what we've done on the road, um, other than you know, the Boise game. I mean, these guys you know, stuck together. And it's never going to be perfect. It's never going to be easy, but I just, you know, I just feel proud of it. Like now we need a full house at the double-A for Monday, Coach. Yeah, and that's where you, you can't, you know, as we tell our guys, I mean, the next game is the most important one. We've, We've only played six games in the league. We got another 12, so we, we played that first third at five and one. But now we just got to go on and take the next game. It doesn't matter whether that's Colorado State, San Jose State, um, New Mexico. It doesn't matter. I mean, the next game is the most important one, and, and we got to find some ways to get better. The problem is we haven't practiced in God knows how long um, with all the stuff that's happening. We, we haven't really practiced. It's just in the way the schedule is, which is nuts. Um, you know, think that you know, this is like an NBA schedule. And the problem is NBA guys don't have to go to class. And NBA guys, uh, you know, they travel and, and things are different. That's their job. And so, you know, our guys now, it's just a matter of go out and prepare, get ready for Colorado State and see where the chips fall. Coach, thanks for joining Congrats, us. Congrats, Coach. Thanks, Good guys. Man. That's Cowboy Head Coach Jeff Linder.